Um, the main important thing, guys, when we're doing rational exponents is we're going to treat rational exponents exactly the same. Just remember when you're doing your rational exponents, we know how to um, rewrite rational exponents as radical expressions, as well as to go from radical expressions to rational exponents. But in this problem, all we're simply doing is we're just applying the rules of exponents. And if you guys remember, one of the rules of exponents we went over was the power to quotient rule. Basically, what that says is when you have a quotient, a division problem, raised to a power, that power goes to your, both your terms in your numerator and your denominator. So we can rewrite this as x to the 1 3rd raised to the 9th over x to the negative 2 thirds raised to the 9th. OK? Now, remember, when you, have a, when you have an exponent raised to a power, what did we do with the powers? Anybody remember? Yeah, it is y. Well, guys, when we multiply two exponents, we do what with the exponents? We add them. So when we take an exponent and raise it to the other one, we multiply them. So all I'm simply going to do is multiply 1 third times 9. Well, how do you multiply a fraction times a whole number? Well, you rewrite your whole number as a fraction. When you multiply, you just multiply your numerator times your numerator, denominator times denominator. 1 times 9 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. So I have x to the 9 thirds over uh, y to the negative 18 thirds. Now I can simplify both of these. X 9 divided by 3 is just what? x to the third. And three, a negative 18 divided by 3 is y to the negative 6. Now remember, though, we do not want to write our answer with negative exponents. So to rewrite a negative exponent as a positive one, we need to rewrite it in our, as a reciprocal. So my final answer is x cubed y to the sixth. Yep.